Hello, welcome to Not So Lonely Nights. I'm your host, Eridon. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind. Uh, I forgot to do two bits of my setup there. But we getting there. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Lighting all set. Sorry, I have to like actually go through my my rundown. All right. <clears throat> yeah, if anybody was in the Discord, you know, got late on dinner. I had just wolfed it down. Um, whew. So trying to <clears throat> catch my breath now after that and um yeah so i'm i'm just a teeny bit off now all right but tonight we're gonna play some control um which i've been wanting to play for a long time Uh, pretty much since it came out, because I first I remember first seeing it and then finding out it was by the people who made Alan Wake. And while I wouldn't say I'm like a huge fan of Alan Wake, I definitely really like it. Um, I played through it uh, on stream last year. Only the base though. I did not play uh, American Nightmare or the DLC. blankets hanging over the couch here but uh epilepsy epilepsy warning that went by way too fast to read though okay i'm getting more warning that my game is being saved <clears throat> All right. Always check the options first. Oh, I always forget if I invert anything. Must have all the warnings. Swap left and right sticks. So you would move with the right stick and aim with the left. Oh man, that would That would be so confusing. <clears throat> Magnets, bullets to the target. Slows down the movement of the camera view while targeting enemies. Okay. Sprint is a toggle or a hold. I guess that'll t depend on... <clears throat> I don't understand. Toggle on, toggle on, off, or hold. Uh, toggle launch. When they... Okay, I see how it works. And then... Oh, okay, so they have, uh... A bunch of different, um... Accessibility options. That's really nice. So, Immortality, One Hit Kills, okay, okay. I am always for games having that. <clears throat> oh, uh, Sprint is uh, clicking L3. Yeah, I think I see. Oh, let let me get the game started before I take the glasses off, just so I can see if there's any odd, any options I need to change, and then I'll give you get, I'll get to that. Always turn brightness up. 
motion blur off because motion blur sucks. Do you, do you I mean, I can... <clears throat> We do want subtitles. Normal's fine. They don't need a background, I don't think. Speaker's name and subtitles. Enable disable translated text for signs. Yeah, a sign overlay would be nice. Crosshair, ammo bar. Alright, I'm glad I checked the these a little bit. <clears throat> Alright. Now I'll just miss out on the opening cutscenes. <clears throat> Reading chat is difficult too. Uh, I'm fine. Press... Press X to climb. Moving towards a nearby obstacle to climb. Okay. Where's what's my timer? Uh, eight thirteen. So eighteen. Okay. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. Paintings. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Um. The room's a cell. And the picture is <coughs> different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible. But we are all transfixed. Oh. What? But it's all that was trippy. I'm sorry, I'm trying to see. Am I the thing that crawled out from behind the poster? King took my glasses away, so... Yeah, that thing glitching or something there, it's kind of weird. Uh... 
something reminder? I'm lucky I made out which button I was supposed to pr press. Yep, so I can't really see tutorials. Well, there's... Okay, so it took a second to render, and that was, um, I thought it was just my blurry vision. So when it, when it cleared up, it felt like my eyes were glitching. Anyway, it's Colonel Sanders. Okay, who's that direction? Oh, this is a bathroom? Ah. Controls are a little bit floaty. That jump. This looks like uh, my child, one of my uh, childhood friend's dads. Time? Yeah, like the turning and stuff, it just, the way it starts and stops. Alright, that's jump. <clears throat> Where did, okay, there are my glasses. Oh my gosh, now I can see! That still wasn't as bad as when, um... Somebody made me lose the gla- Oh, I can't go through there. Uh, when somebody made me lose the glasses when I was trying to snipe in, uh, Resident Evil 4. I still managed to hit, but... Hey, what's up, 926? Yep, I just started. I missed one or two things because um, somebody took my glasses away. But yeah, I've been wanting to play this game since it came out. Um... But, um, I never bought it, and now it's on PS Plus, so... Hey, excuse me. This is gonna be creepy, isn't it? Okay, Ati. I know what you're thinking. The next murderer around. That's him. Oh, getting ready for uh you don't even know what you're streaming yet. I uh I know those feels. Wait, I just looped around. Wait, what? Wait. Huh? Didn't I just 
come from this hallway? Okay. Things be getting weird. Federal Bureau of Control. Oh, hey, this this tube system. Uh, so now I just need to go to the local carnival and get a balloon and fill it with um, fill it with packing stuff. I wonder if anybody's going to get that reference. Hey, Thomas Crane. Appreciate lurking. Coffee time. Yep. I had to do the beginning of the tutorial without glasses. It was a lot of me squinting at the screen trying to make out what was going on. Whoa. Everything's float. Oh. I don't like this. Yeah, yoga's rough, but it'll it gets easier as you do it. I've been telling myself for a while I need to like <laughs> okay. all right that I lose you there for a moment you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him okay so is she talking to me or a ghost in her head But, uh, yeah, I've been meaning to, um, really need to d try using... We've got Ring Fit, and I've used it exactly once. Ring Fit is great, by the way. I just need to, like, actually use it. Okay, I was looking at chat. I heard the noise. Whoa. But what was that noise? It does kick your ass. Alright, enjoy your Pathfinder game. Oh, and be sure to join us Sunday um, to learn how to play... Uh, um, Legend of the Five Rings. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? If not, the VODs will be there. I'm gonna probably save that one and maybe edit it and put it on YouTube. for the director.
these altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality now. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Okay. You must choose to be the chosen one. Where am I? That's... okay. I knew this game was gonna be kinda weird, but this is already just like way trippier than I expected. This would have been where you want to make me lose the glasses to, uh... Try to, uh, mess me up. Alright, choose to be chosen. So I do plan on playing more of this, uh, but you do kind of have me, have you guys have me thinking about, so what Vex's, um, that uh, obscure GameCube game I've mentioned, actually has a tutorial very much like this, where you're just in some weird spirit realm and you're really confused. But um, have any of you guys seen Astral Chain for the Switch? Oh my gosh, this aiming. The aiming is just something I'll have to get used to. Because um, I have Astral Chain and I did play it when it came out. It is really good. Um, maybe I'll go stream it at some point. supposed to be doing oh enemies drop health when damaged okay Okay, I have a map now, that's nice. Uh... Okay. That's fine. Lurking is lurking is still good. You 
Glad I didn't play this last night because I don't think I was in a. I would have been able to play this. I need to go over this way? Is that what I'm seeing? Can't go that way yet. Still can't go in there. Okay, I can do that weird little force punch. All right. entirely sure what's going on, so... The physics are cool, though. And this misty effect. Like, this looks awesome. Punch. Like, whoa, that's, that's a super cool looking effect. like all these floating people. Shelter. Feels like a bad idea to be walking into a vault like this. Okay. Personal mods. There we go. Uh, I can either get a health recovery or just get more maximum... Take more maximum health. Okay. God. Do we have to do that? You can tell it was written by the same people that made uh, Alan Wake. <laughs> okay, that was a radio. That's funny. I do mean that as a good thing, though. But the way that she's talking to herself just feels very Alan Wake. There's the pyramid thingy again. Uh, just have to jump down there, huh? God. 
I'm almost dead already. Health! Give me health! Maybe I should have grabbed the, uh... The healing mod. Oh my... He went around the other way. How dare you be smart. AI's not supposed to be smart. <clears throat> that red, though, is, uh... A painful to my eyes. Ugh. Okay, all the way back here, huh? Do I have to redo the stuff I picked up in here, I wonder? Nope, that's picked up. Is the mod equipped? It is equipped. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into Okay, the books are still picked up, so is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. That battle's contagious. It burrows in like it's a pyramiding melody that makes you hum it over and over. Huh. That's kind of interest, kind of neat. That I was able to like shoot them ahead of time. Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. Come on. Hit him. Jeez. Cleanse the control point, huh? Okay, it is not that, like, just that red was painful. Interact with control points to restore health. Outfits. Neat. And fast travel. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Okay. They already know that I'm the new director. Interesting. Where are those vests? Are those bomb vests? Everywhere and to everyone, 
not protected by an HRA, and extraordinarily, you. Okay. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. A trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, yeah, he shot himself. I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Okay. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her about his suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me. Okay. She's like, should I lie? Nah. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. The whole room should do that. So I do that. And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director. How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. <clears throat> Yeah, it is. I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse the control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the his. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Well, I've already murdered a bunch of them, so. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I blame for what happened to me for so long. Okay. But I can't trust her yet. I'll run the bureau to the department. You're the director of the bureau now. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. I want to know what this thing in her head is. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. Okay. So it's a thing we can do? Worth a shot. Jesse, over here. I can't cleanse that thing. It was worth a shot. Thank yeah. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. All right. The bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary. Her town was called Ordinary. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? Was one of the big ones, and before my time. Okay. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. Okay. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Petrum Residence Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few. Oh. My controller died. No, it still says it's good. That's odd. And Director Trench would like Huh. Him. Trench. The ghost or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. He said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, a new bakelite. Alright. A direct line of communication between 
between the director and the board. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> yeah, we've only just started. You could still, well, I guess not. I was gonna say, you could still lurk, but... Okay, time to murder some more... They call me the director. This is weird. That's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. Okay. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. The room? I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Part of your world. I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Okay. We've... I don't know why you'd want to find the room, though. It's not even that good. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay, reload efficiency, reload speed. Okay. And I got Well, this one, this one's already better, so deconstruct. I don't know what the money is going to do, but I do not have a clearance level. Okay. Conceptual materials. And all these collectibles. Okay. Sorry. Checking all the, the thingamabobbers and doohickeys. Thought I heard a phone. Time to go prep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, you have a good one. We'll we'll probably be raiding you later if uh, if you're still going. Have some fun. Um, why is, uh, uh, well, you missed some weirdness and now I'm in a room with, uh, there's a jukebox that's all locked up and I don't know why. Okay, I'm trying to... I can't go through this way yet. I'm 
trying to find the lobby. Why is the the subtitles are like coming up for a second? So this Tomasi guy is the director of communications, and I think he's been taken by. The hiss. Gosh, the sound is all ugh, it's so disturbing. can't go out that way. It's kind of silly. Oh. So I guess there's more bad guys down that red hallway, huh? So I do know that this game gets to be a lot more, like, playgroundy as it goes. Where you'll be doing a lot more, like, uh, running and gunning and um, switching between superpowers as your, your bullets are recharging. Alright, so that's where I want to go. But this game is kind of like semi-open world in the way it's it's laid out too, which is also neat. I don't know why there was a power-up thingy in here, but okay. But yeah, the um Um, words, the thing I just said. But yeah, like, the whole, the whole game map is meant for you to sort of do the Metroidvania of exploring as you gain more clearances and things, and oh boy, I found another control point. Which means, yep, these are all bad dudes. Okay, not all of them. Dead letters. Come on, magic gun. Do your thing. This having infinite ammo thing is great, though. Machine God. Oh, this guy's got like body armor. All right, Paul Blart.
Man, I can't aim for shit. <laughs> God, he's, like, actually recovering. There we go. Alright. That's pretty good. Once I could burn through, uh... The one dude. Oh, this bright red, though. Shatter recoil efficiency. Uh, exclusive to shatter, which I apparently don't have. Just finding lots of papers. Do as you're told. Don't eat mold. Did you guys get that? Before I smashed it to smithereens? Do as you're told and don't eat mold. Oh, another upgrade. Singing fish. Alright, well, I need to get up there. Probably to another, like, little mini boss thing? No? Okay, cleansing. All right, we built another safe zone. Communications are on the right track. Oh, TV. Let's watch TV. Floppy disk. Oops. Okay. Okay. So they have a floppy disk that has Soviet launch codes but also has the collective unconsciousness of the Cold War era and throws pencils. I believe that's what I'm supposed to gather from that. Funny thing, though, because he mentions that the, um, the launch codes being on a floppy disk. Uh, a few years ago, I saw a thing that uh, the U.S. new launch codes are on old floppy disks like that. I'm still waiting for somebody to attack me when I walk in one of these bathrooms. Okay, so that's still in lockdown, I guess.
I saw a thing that said that fall damage is a thing, so... Uh... Okay. I don't know what just killed that guy. Anybody in here? No? Just stuff? You're gonna give, make me go in the room with the spooky... Spooky noises? It's not even where I need to go. I think. Do I still want to go in here? Meme cow? So, the Eye of Sauron is looking for me. To throw things at me. Let's see. So, if I need to get up there... Nope, oh, can't go there! This is why not. I'm I don't even know what's attacking me. I can't see it. But it's throwing crap at me. says get close to it to cleanse it. Is it the floppy disk? Is that the floppy disk? It's the floppy disk. Nuke can be bound. To gain launch telekinesis. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids and bureau of zeal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay, I got telekinesis. Okay, I can still jump and everything. It's 
So this is where it, like, gets interesting. Because now I can, you know, shoot people and throw things at them. This is burrowing into our astral plane secret base. You must stop the mute them, director. Okay. Here you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This Clunk. Oh, there's still a dude up there? Oh, not anymore. Yeah, this is freaking awesome now. It's still, like, super weird, but it did, it's great, too, because it's only been about an hour. So it, in less than an hour, the game really starts picking up in what, what it's all about. Which is great, just because, you know, a lot of games want to take their time drip-feeding you that stuff. Sorry for being quiet, I got a phone call. That's fine. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Alright, well I'm in the mail room. I hear them. But where are they? Yep, I can just pick up and throw shit now. Bam! Alright, so I need to go that way. Anything that you see highlighting is something that I can pick up and throw, so, like, that couch is a weapon. God, the, just, this constant noise is disturbing. Where am I? Oh, I'm actually almost where I'm supposed to be going. I think. Oh. Okay, I am like dying by going in that room.
Man, I clobbered him as I... Oh, God. The floating bodies? Not quite. Why are you still alive? Whew. That was close. Uh, the people who have been, who like the floating bodies are the result of people who have been infected by the hiss and are, that's all I know. I don't know what the hiss is. I don't know what it's doing? This is some weird, like... This is just a weird... Those are old computers. But could you imagine working at desks like this? What was even the point of this room? Oh, it connects. It connects uh, back later. Okay. Oh, level one clearance. I can now unlock. Level one doors. But rolling with the flow, did you see my uh, little mini boss fight where I got telekinesis? Oh, there's a toilet in here, so they put up gate, uh, made their own little makeshift, uh, screen. Yeah, I fought a floppy disk. Yep, I had to fight a floppy disk. Uh, apparently from the Cold War that contained the Soviet uh, nuclear codes. Nu nuclear? I always feel like I'm saying that word wrong. But you know what? That actually gives a little bit... Oh, another clearance. Okay. But... That room with the jukebox that was all locked up? I'm guessing the jukebox is a live thing too? Oh, okay. Jukebox hero. Alright, I guess... Okay, so you have a limited number of keys. You can only use each key once. Well, this looks like a combat room. Man, I, said, I made the joke before, but maybe, maybe it'll be understood now. Where are some balloons and packing foam when you need it? Uh... Boss fight?
Ow. Oh god, I'm like one hit from death. point just outside so all right yeah his he he can dodge where he just flies around but i don't know how i'm supposed supposed to dodge him just doesn't seem like a thing I can do hit once and I'm already almost dead. thought I had the angle right. Okay, he's running away. I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The yep. should be past the bell. Alright, well oh I'm oh I'm picking up healing. This is apparently the mail room. All right, well, he went up there. Monsters, Inc. version. I hear an angry bab. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Alberto Tomasi is the guy I just fought. Get her. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged the cellular wall, but I can't blame that on some stupid noise guy. <laughs> I don't know who doctors examine them first. I was simply the odds of all that would show inside of the US Navy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to. Hey, are you still recording this? 
Okay. Alright. Hey, I'll be right back just a second. Sorry about that. Uh, well, I, no details, but rolling with the flow. I had to do, um, had to see a doctor today, and is not supposed to be getting carrying the bab on her own, at least for a day. She's fine. Nothing to worry about. Just they had to do a thing, and uh, so I need to take. Spend a little more, so if the bad needs anything, I've got to, you know, go be a dad. Hotline chamber. Butte supplement. They knew what they were doing with that one. Making a butte butt joke. Oh no, this is the room. The ocean view motel and casino. Train logic. The light switch cord. Door alarm. Black pyramid. Ocean View Motel and Casino Entry Point. Catalyst Light Switch. The Law of Three applies. So that was one. Director use only. Disregard of this policy may result in fatal psychic trauma. Ritual attunement required. Agent must orient and anchor motel to their personal frequencies. Alright, so one, two, three. Okay, so the only door it's letting me interact with is the one with the, the black pyramid, upside down pyramid on it.
Can't go outside, of course. Well, now they have numbers on them. No, still, still nothing. Actually, oh, door 222 opened. Nothing? Interesting. I actually wanted to look because, oh, 226 closed. One door closed and another one opened. Yay! Yay! Jumping on the bed. <laughs> I got confused for a second because I saw those floating. Uh... Uh-oh. That's me, on the bridge. Two, three, we made the bridge. Oh boy. Okay, I've got to do another challenge thing here. Oh, another object of power? The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Okay, that is just killing me. It's like trolling around the area. I'm guessing I can't actually kill it. Kill those things. Do I hear the I hear the phone again? Compulsive weekly calls. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Okay. Especially 
my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become a director. Okay. Oh. I have it. Bad line. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like Echo. An Echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Okay. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Oh. This hallway wasn't open before. I can go straight to the office now. My new office. Oh, and this is now open as well. Oh, that's a clearance four. I can't go in there yet. I have one more clearance one card, though. I actually want to check. Okay. Hotline... These are recordings, correspondences. That one's helpful. A shark in his, although secure, permission to following basic protocol, shoot to kill. There is one of these that I actually really want to find. But I don't really know. The custodians have also used the hotline. That's interesting. But in somewhere in one of these, uh, it, one of these like collectibles, is uh, a great reference to Alan Wake. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The cogs, the hiss. Sorry, you made uh, Emily. Let's talk. Of course. Um, you actually find. Uh, you find one of the thermos collectibles. And I think you might also find a manuscript page as collectibles in this.
talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. So we're in a lockdown that can't be taken out of. Maybe I can find a way. Okay. Jesse, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that in his case, he joined Night Shift. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. Look, we could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. All right. I think we'll help. Great. It's interesting that I don't get choices. Dun dun. Dun dun. Oh, there's the janitor. Department of Maintenance has a wheat field in it? getting to see whoa this looks ominous not just because of the floating bodies You don't hear game audio? Is this better? Here, I want I'm trying to get somewhere where I can like shoot the gun. How's that sound? All right, good. Sorry, yeah, this this game is a little bit quiet. points. Yay, I have skill trees now. All right. Uh more energy, more health, more melee damage, more launch damage. Oh, 
Oh, it costs two, then three. It costs two points to upgrade another level. Uh, let's get extra energy. You know what? I'm going to take the extra launch damage, because throwing objects is really good. And I get another slot to my weapon. Astral Constructs? Weapon Forms. Oh! And I can make, my, make new mods or upgrade mods. Huh. What does it do? What's it? Oh, obscured. I, I don't get to know what it is until I make it. Alright, well, I might as well as construct the shatter, because I'm guessing that's... Alright. And I can't afford any more of the upgrades. That's fine. Board countermeasures. Uh, oh, so these are like little side quests for rewards. Kill his guards in the executive se sector using spin? Use charge to kill enemies. Kill enemies with headshots. Kill enemies with service weapon in spin mode. I don't have spin mode. Um, kill, and just kill enemies. Alright, I'll take that. Damage against enemy armor increased? Okay. Uh... Okay. All right. Hope is asked us to document the case. You mean like in person? In person. The pencil the paper. I think she's trying to get us killed. So where am I? Search for a way into the maintenance sector. I jump because I'm trying to like hold X to run. Alright. Hi, Jesse. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. You got it? Did she memorize this? Okay. Got it. That was a Thanks. hell of an explanation. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there, if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. Fair enough. I'm with you on that, Emily. All right. Thanks. Uh, we don't need any more exposition. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let oh, me know. Okay. So, we don't really have a direction.
Oh, hey, this is the room with the jukebox. Yeah, like I can't even pull out a gun in here. I can't interact with anything. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do, but they have a, just have a jukebox locked up in a... So I wonder if you have to find another frame like you did with the other one. To uh, get the bridge. Oh, probably not. That was to get to the hotline. That was for something, like, unique. Uh, Story-related. I don't... I don't know. If maybe I'll get up there and have, like, access. And who knows? Maybe it's a horrible, horrible idea and it's locked up for a reason. Oh. That was the janitor, Ati. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Or potentially an axe murderer. It's a pony instead of Sony. That's great. Supposedly, he let me in the building, too. Maybe. I don't know, but he was fine. He was the only person I saw before all the weird stuff started really happening. Hmm. I need to figure out how to change my weapon, too, because I have a shotgun now. Load screens are a little long. Yeah, the lo loading isn't great. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. All right, Maybe so. It, was Ati. it felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? So we have her ghost friend and Ati. This isn't as bad as Resident Evil, but I'm still getting a, getting a little jumpy every time I get into a new area. Oh, it's red. Red is bad? Red means enemies, typically. But we'll see. Yeah, his, uh, that one's got glowing eyes. There's the... The directorial override is right cubes. there, in the control room. How do we get there? Yeah, all those cubes all also signify that we're in, uh, or that area is under control by the hiss. Everything's just weird looking because... Because it is. Oh! And... Control points. That's good. Got me a checkpoint. Yeah, a little bit. But I can fast travel from here. Alright. Uh, so I have this one, but now I'm not in the executive sector, but there are kill enemies with the spin mode. I don't have spin mode. 
and everything else is, has to be in the executive sector, so. Oh well. Yeah, they're a little side quest for extra rewards. at from see a guy down over here there was... okay they were coming from over here I think where is he click oh there you are. Oh god. Something exploded. It is dangerous. dangerous. Not the only one who went there. Bab is in here now. Playing with a Wii remote. Do, do, do. What do you think of the game so far? Bab! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. What's down that way? Marshall's. I can't stand her. Janitor's office, okay, that's where I want to be. A Mary Chase. Investigate the strange light in the break room. Hey. There's a bab. How about a uh, tiny little bab break, huh? There you are! There you are! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to go back to Mom? She apparently had a nightmare. That's why she's still awake. Quit that. Quit that. You see the pretty girl? Flop. <laughs> so, there's Bab. Say hi. Can you say hi? The point. She's saluting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's still very tired. So. Oh, I meant to. Looks like I have new personal mod. Energy. And I have two of those, so deconstruct. Whoa, did you see that? Cleanse the merry-go-round horse, horse object of power. Okay. All right. I have to run an obstacle course. This place makes me nauseous. Whoop! I hesitated. How do I get up? Can you hop up in there? Oh. 
object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Is that it? I was expecting to have to do more. <laughs> oh. Now I have to practice evasion. So I needed... Okay. Interesting. Neat. Gold enemies are immune. Okay, so that was all just to teach me. Oh, now I have to. Now I have to escape. Nothing over there? Okay. Yeah. All right. We fell back into reality. Fell back up the rabbit hole? Yep. Fell up the rabbit hole. Hidden location discovered. Now I can get my loot. Ritual impulse. TV. Threshold kids. Best jingle. I'm just obsessed with grit with jiggle. The pyramid. There's some old. What's a Try to connect to the internet. The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane. Astral plane. Okay. It's big. White and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy I am disturbed. Dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all you know what? that white. I'm just gonna and never find your way back home. Okay. You remember watching those commercials or those things in Alan Wake? They were like Twilight Zone episodes and they weren't that creepy. Alright. Loot! Sure. Launch efficiency. Oh, 
He has a picture of the janitor on the janitor's door. Very creepy looking. Hello? Oh. That he was doing well, the thing uh, that was. Hello, Artie. It's place for congratulations. Yip been son. It happened in the last drop. I draw the need of an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. <laughs> I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Artie here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, uh, I, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. What? That's why you were made a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Okay. This house has a vermin problem. A bad one. Yes, it does. Over the best of the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant vehicle. And the pensioner inside. Yes. He started to feel the band around his head tight. What? The situation needs to be fixed before oh. the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. <laughs> disappear like a I'm fart in Sahara? Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise, oh, don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. All right, you'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. Bab is running away. here. You can do later. Vacation, right? Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it, and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Okay. Thank you, Ati. That's, uh, interesting. Throw it in the fire. Okay. Burn the trash around the furnace. Uh, I guess we'll do this one. So, mean cow, how's uh? Burn it into a rain. I still need to go this way. Wait. So it's right there. Interesting. Uh, I was just going to ask, you know, like how you were doing. Because I don't think I actually asked earlier. Like a not nice person. Like I forgot. Try to have some conversation instead of me just going like, uh. So what happens again if that thing blows up? Uh oh. Explosion. Doing a reading assignment. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm hanging on to it until we know if it works or not, but it didn't have an expiration date on it, but it is from a few, uh, a few years ago. Oh, that note seemed important. There's the merry-go-round horse. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Like, yeah. Just redacted files all over the place. This isn't going to go well. Oh, that person's friendly. Hey, hey, are you new? Then go talk with Chief Arish in the security group. He's in charge here. Ma'am, hey, Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Talk to me, Arish. I love HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just. Yeah, and I keep better than Bacon. Uh, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show now. I got yeah. Holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies hasn't wrecked the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing. <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. So what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seems to know we'll be a target. Darling? He's here? No, it came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. Huh. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> what? Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. Okay. I'll let my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oosh. Listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm Salvador's sure. the next I'm boss, isn't he? I'll keep an eye out for him. Why is this I'm I'm sure sell I'm Salvador's his boss? <laughs> Wait, do they never blink? Don't blink. No, I think I just saw him blink. Yeah. But yeah, it definitely looks like they're they're not blinking. I just wanted to make sure. Aha, there was loot. Spin grouping efficiency. I don't have the spin. Or is that the name of the No, it's called the grip. Grip and shatter are all I have. Would have been hilarious if they didn't blink, yeah. Oh, control point. Nice. Ritualistic thinking. Got three more ability points. Uh, let's get more health because I suck at this game. <laughs> oh, it takes three points.
It takes one. So it takes three points to get another thing. Okay, well I can get this one. Launch grenades and rockets back at enemies. And next is launch basic enemies when their health is low. Launch large enemies, objects. Hold and launch up to three objects. Oh man, those are all great. Astral constructs, weapon forms. Now I can construct the spin. Yeah, I can construct additional pylons. <laughs> but it's expensive. I need five more threshold remnants, eight more ritual impulses, whatever those are, and a lot more source. And you can also increase your... Unlock extra mod slots and increase base weapon damage. Okay. Bab has hat. Let's see now. I want to go to the room. Oh, do I need to, like, get up there? What the? What? Oh, oh, wow. The heck are those? They explode on death, which isn't great. Freaky. Is that all of them? Threshold remnant. Oh, that was an item I got. Um. Do I know what that was called yet? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, there's more of them. That's why. Are there just an unlimited supply of them? Am I not allowed to... Are they keeping me from that room? I feel like there's more of them, though. Oh, God. His charged. Okay, that was the last one. Hiss charge. The hiss charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from hiss corruption. Hiss charge display an unthinking fixation on any non corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance so dense that it acts as a physical force. Uh, and so it dies when it explodes. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The hiss charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Refer to the file blank for a full report. Okay. Coolant pumps. So 
So what is she exactly to this agency? Uh, she is the uh, director. She didn't want to be. She didn't ask to be. She walked in. They just said, uh, and then she found the director dead. She picked up his gun, and then the pyramid thingy said, "You're the director now." GG. Oh. I think that's him. That's yeah, that was a different one. That was just like a regular enemy. Oh well, another uh control point. Yay! Checkpoint slash fast travel point. And now I can get to the cooling pumps. But, this is where I want to go. Furnace chamber. Is that... okay. So burn the trash around the furnace. Was that it? No? So it's not these cardboard boxes. Who needs to carry it all the way across the room, right? Doom. Got it. There's a... Uh... Treasure here. I'll look for the. There's what, two more, I think? There's one. Saw paper to pick up, too. Oh, there's the last one. Why carry things when you're a Jedi? Exactly. 
cooler than a Jedi. I've got a gun. Burn the trash. Got two more points. All right, now we can go fix the cooling pumps. Seems like an odd, random little side quest of just like, hey, go throw some stuff in a thing. There were no enemies, there was no challenge, it just kind of was a thing. That door, that was an actual door and it led to a cave. Uh-oh. I don't like that sound. Oh boy. What's nice is that they made sure to, um, they made it so that if you try to use, uh, the, uh, grab ability, without objects specifically, it'll just rip up a piece of wall or terrain. So you can always use the ability to pick up and throw things. Coolant pumps. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Are you behind me? Oh, he is behind me. Yeah, but like right here, I there's nothing for me to grab. So, just a chunk of something. Yeah, yeah. Nope, oh, there's one with the shield. <laughs> Never mind. Punch. Let's see, where's another device? Yep. Blow up. Kill him. Ah. Easy mode. All right, there should be another device around here for me to plug it in, plug it in. Fighting a giant shit monster. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Ew. 
gross. Yep, I'm seriously dealing with... with a shit monster. Part of me wants to be like, why is this a thing? But part of me also, I don't... Ugh. I'm sure I'm gonna find out and I won't be happy about it. These weird, like, grub thingies. some, like, real Resident Evil poopy here. <laughs> there more? There's more? Oh, no. We need to hurry. Okay, so that it burst the that plug out. Whatever that poop monster was. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's one job completed. Shot at? It sounded like I was getting shot at. Nope, can't go that way yet. Oh, yep, there. Oh, there's like a boss dude down there. like a minigun. I have like no health. But I have the high ground. It's over Anakin. through the pipe works. Is there another way? Looks like there's a door over here. Or that there was one up above, but I didn't see one up there. Man, I feel like I was lucky that I got up here to fight that guy. Wherever he came from. Because if I was on the same footing as him, I would have died. Yeah, it looks like there's a... There should be a doorway right here. But there isn't. So we'll go back the other way. Is 
through this cave system. She's just collecting things. The bab. She's just collecting everything that she can grab. All right. Um, first off, what abilities can I... I'll take for being able to throw enemies. Uh, I probably still don't have enough for the spin. No, but I'm getting there. I'm actually getting those resources faster than I thought. And fast travel. Looks like ventilation is going to get me where I want to go. I've only got about 30 minutes. You okay? Alrighty, so we can't go that way, of course. Why would we be able to go that way? Oh, this is where I first came in, that's why. That's where I need to get to. But I have to do all this other stuff to get there. No other doors here. So I need to just go back to the main room and to the power plant. Frame rates, though. Whoa. Because there's, like, missiles and explosions everywhere. Can you imagine if I still had motion blur on top of all that? Yeah, motion blur was a problem for her, but I've realized that motion blur does, like, nothing for me, so I stopped using it. That dude just, like, he actually ran away from me. Hit him in the back of the head with a tire and then shot him in the face. Alright, are they still okay in here? 
Yeah, they're still okay. Ventilation. Okay. Wait. No, that's back to the janitor's office. Yeah, ventilation is where I took that, um, I fast traveled and then it just took me back to the entrance. So where were all these guys attacking from? I see some more enemies over there. Elevator. I think that's where I need to go. I am sorry that I get lost so easily. I would get lost too. It's a big building. Yeah, it's big. NSC energy converters, yep. Of course, I get lost walking around the map. Oh, ah, there's where I need to go. Just past all of these enemies. crunching the shield guys now because the first shield guy was such a pain oh, this place is gonna come down energy converters. Another combat room. New mission. A good defense. Bam! Two for one. Alright, being able to throw dudes now is hilarious. Especially when I miss and it's just like, oops. Sorry, I could have uh, at least killed your friend with you, but you just fell down and died. Bang, bang. Music's still playing. Okay, there he is. Oh. What? Shh. Don't know if that was a good guy or a bad guy, but they exploded guy now. And now I... What the? He got up? Where'd that body go?
There we go. He's shooting missiles at... He, he teleported up there somehow. But, um... I have the ability to grab missiles and throw them back. And so he kept shooting missiles at me. Didn't work out for him. Uh huh. GG missile guy. Okay, nowhere to plug it in down here. I'm sure there's like another power source up above. Yeah, there's three right there. So the last one's up up there. Screw you, armor dude. Unstable matter. Getting all the achievements. Let's go lift the lockdown. All right, we can get into the control room now. If this doesn't have like some crazy fight in it. Upcoming game reminder. Next game Wednesday at 8. Usual spot. Hey! We were playing today at Wednesday at 8. Hazard, Hazard owes me 20 bucks. Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Uh, Thompson suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you $60. I brought beers last time, so it's Hepston Stoll's turn. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Adi keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him, too. Guess that's just his brand of crazy. Gonna try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme stuff. Apparently, you just needed a gun. Investigate the training course? Ooh! Where's that? I guess I'll go ahead and do the control room. But I really want to do that training room now. Because there's a new object of power, and object of powers means new skills. Holy crap, that's a lot of dudes. I love smacking people with objects as I like pulling them to me. Ah, oh, I missed that shot. If I wouldn't have missed. Okay, so I saw that I lost some money, so dying costs you some money. Dustin's uh, Bionicle meme. It didn't look like it was a lot of money. Ooh. 
Sorry. Well, because that kind of set me back, that might... Might make it easier for me to just go... Let's see if I can afford the... I can afford the spin now. <laughs> yeah, I, um... I own the first movie, I think. What's up? Thanks for the raid, dragon and kitten. Um, raid from dragon, but I see violent kitten in there. Hey, welcome. Thanks for that follow. And Kitten has been knighted. Thanks so much. That is awesome. You are an amazing person. We're doing... I'm doing just fine. Uh, trying to figure out how to get to the training room so I can go get a new power-up. I think it's through central maintenance. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, so the sp the spin is a machine gun. So I have a machine gun and a shotgun. Whoa, this is a fancy bathroom. Well, good night, Dungeon Cat. I just saw that message. I don't know what this that red is, so... The fact I can shoot it and it explodes probably means it's bad. Uh finding things but what we're oh um be heading out soon yeah it's okay so we're in the same time zone then dragon um this game is very good i'm i'm having a lot of fun with it uh if you've got ps plus um, it's free on PS Plus, so that's actually how I got it. I always did love obstacle courses. But, um, if you haven't, um, Mean Cow, could you give Dragonfire and Violent Kitten, uh, shoutouts? Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three... Two, one, go. Uh, oh. Thirty 
seconds remaining. I was right there, too. Gives you Beyond Two Souls vibes. Uh, you know, I can, I can see why you would say that. But... Beyond Two Souls is not great. In my opinion. I've got to get this isn't usually part of the course. It's protecting itself. Um Okay, there we go. I got the safe. Cool guys, I beat the safe. I have a shield now. Super injured though. Oh god. Kaboom.
I managed to not die. All right, well, let me get back to uh, the checkpoint. And then we'll, uh, or control point or whatever. And then we'll uh, call it a night. The control points should be right, right here. Oh, now I, oh, there's more skill trees, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to buy the upgrades to that. So that whenever you let go of the shield, it just throws the shield. All right. So, um, what are you guys thinking of Control so far? I'm loving it. So, I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to continue playing this one. Uh, but I'll be able to save it for stream, don't you worry. But I won't be playing anymore until next week because tomorrow we're continuing some ReZero uh, and then we'll see after ReZero how we're feeling uh, if we want to keep doing ReZero or um, if it maybe just doesn't work for streaming. I, I'm still on the fence, so we'll finish, like I said, we'll finish uh, one more day of ReZero and see how that goes. Because hopefully it'll be picking up and uh, we'll have a lot, uh, have some more gameplay and less uh, listening to people talk, even though I'm enjoying that. And then Sunday, Sunday we're going to, uh, I'm going to do something I think a little bit, uh, something I'm not sure uh, how it's going to go. Um, we're going to do a Learn to Play Legend of Five Rings Fantasy Flight RPG. Um, so, if you haven't heard of it, it's like, it's a Dungeons & Dragons tabletop RPG kind of thing. But it's its own unique system, it has its own way of handling everything, uh, and it's uh, set in, it has a very specific setting to it, which is... Um, it's its own. It's a feudal Japan with magic and and everything like that. But um, it's basically like a built to be a uh, samurai drama. Uh, so if you've ever watched old Akira Kurosawa films, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, it's it's built like like those. Uh, combat is fast and lethal. Um, social situations can be even more dangerous to your character <clears throat> than than combat. Uh, so it, it leads to a lot of really interesting choices for uh, role playing. So, so like I said, Sunday at seven Eastern, we're gonna we're gonna go into that, and I will <clears throat> true story in the social situations. Yeah. Um, without going into the details, because some of you might wind up getting to be part of it, uh, there was a scenario that came up where somebody somebody lost their temper, and most people at the table were reacting like they would in D and D, but that's a it in this game what they were they were trying to like jump up and stop this guy and like hold him back. And that's, um, that is not courteous. It is, the person who's having the outburst is already being disrespectful. But anybody else who acts...
adds to that is being just as disrespectful, even if they're trying to defuse the situation. It was, uh, uh, and anybody who eventually we were able to defuse that situation, but if they had followed through on all of that, then their careers as samurai could have just ended right then and there. Um, so it's it's can be a can be rough uh, if you and, and but we'll go into all the details on that again Sunday at seven. Um, I, I'm 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 super hyped for to try to teach this even though I'm kind of nervous to do so because I haven't done something like that before especially not in this format. Anyway, so yeah, tomorrow ReZero, Sunday uh, L5R, and then we'll probably next Tuesday come back to Control. Uh, so with that, um, we are going to go find a raid. It's probably going to be my good friend number 926. If not, then it will be Ray Ray Senpai. Uh, I definitely recommend both you check both of them out. Looks like number is active, or nine two six rather. I'm sorry. Um, so, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks again for that raid, uh, Dragonfire, um, and have yourselves a great night.